Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 7th, 7th, 8th, whatever. What do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we got? Remember, this reading may or may not be for you. It's not a private reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading is not sign-specific, okay? It's not time-specific either. What do we got? What do we got? A six of cups reversed. Oh, somebody's been clinging to the memories, right? Clinging to the past, not wanting to release, holding on to those memories. Holding right on. Unable to let go. Very emotional. It is a very emotional time right now. Somebody is probably feeling tearful, sad, um... A lot of memories, thinking about the past, thinking about the children, thinking about everything. A lot of memories, thinking about the memories. Chariot reversed. So stuck, loss of will, uh, no movement. We have somebody here that seems to be going nowhere. Thinking about the past nonstop. unable to move forward somebody cannot move forward it's like they can't master their emotions they just can't no discipline no three of swords reversed now that is leaving behind the past hurts but still feeling the pain nine of cups so this is a card of abundance, alignment even, having plenty. There's plenty of options. You know, there is. There's plenty of options. There's, there's, uh, there's so many ways to make yourself happy or to be happy. Be grateful for the things that you still have. Be grateful for what you have. I understand that. Loss hurts, but look at everything that you still have. So somebody has been suffering with this Three of Swords, but, and really clinging to the memories, the pain that this breakup or heartburn or heartache or whatever it is, somebody has been unable, they haven't been able to master their emotions at all. Emotional wreck here. Like, seriously. It, clinging to the memories, clinging to it all. <sighs> Unable to forgive, but there's there's so much to be grateful for. There is. There's so much to be grateful for right there. Um, let's see. An obstacle being removed with the aid of swords. Some there's been some lies, right? There has. But this is an obstacle being removed that will break you free or it will break somebody free. This is like in many cards, Eight of Swords is like a prison. So it's like breaking free from prison if you can uh, put yourself in the driver's seat and take charge and head in a different direction and stop clinging to the past, stop clinging to the memories, forgive and move on, forgive and move on. But this person will not, will not forgive and move on. Or will not even take any action whatsoever because there's obviously still suffering with the Three of Swords. But the Eight of Swords is an obstacle being removed. Uh, the, three, the Eight of Swords reversed. It's like letting go of the emptiness. Removing the obstacles. Finally deciding, I want to have it all. I want to live in this pain anymore. Eight of Pentacles putting in effort. Somebody is about to put in effort to make something work, make something grow. To create a new foundation. To have abundance in their life. After being trapped, somebody been trapped in their mind for so freaking long. Hurting and suffering and moping. No kidding. But it's like now, it's like I got to remove this. I got to put in effort. I got to do something differently. Yeah, I'm going to hold my head up high. This is the Six of Wands. I'm going to hold my head up high with confidence. 
and move in a new direction. Reevaluating. Somebody has reevaluated their direction. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very suspicious, very jealous, very. Um, well, she may not share. She may not share anything at all. Um, she may be greedy. Um, two of the words. I have to stand still. I've got to decide. Somebody has to make a d decision. We have somebody here that is very stubborn. Little Miss Queen of Pentacles right here in reversed. This person is male or female. This person is stubborn. It's like once their mind is made up, their mind is made up. It's hard to get this person to budge. <clears throat> This person may have been the obstacle that was in the way. Or this person may have been not knowing their value. Somebody didn't know their value. They didn't know their, they didn't because she's the queen of value. It's in reversed. Somebody didn't know their value. They weren't seeing it. They weren't seeing something clearly. <clears throat> oh, Wheel of Fortune. If something was bringing them backwards, somebody's been truly stuck with the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Chariot reversed. Somebody has been stuck like Chuck. Okay, stuck, 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 stuck. Stuck on the past. And it's been hindering their good fortune. It's been hindering their new journey. It's been blocking them from abundance. Seriously. Because she's the queen of abundance. She is. So somebody's been blocking their own abundance because of stubbornness. Right? But now they're making progress. Because this is recognizing and making progress. Woo! Lust. A lot of universal cards here. The universe is in charge today. Whatever day this is. This is universal change. Somebody has been blocking their own destined path. They have bl been blocking their own success by clinging to the past. And it's like the universe. And I say the universe is in charge. Before I even saw this card, I knew it was the world card. I didn't even register. It said universe because of all the majors we have here. All the major arcanas. We have, anyhow, where I was going with this is that we have a major new beginning here that has been resisted. It's been resisted because of greed, because of materialism, because of ego, because of pride. Somebody has been holding on to a situation that has been making them feel empty and lost. And it's like deep down they know. Deep down they know they're not supposed to do this. They're not supposed to be there. But because of ego and pride being so big within them, they can't make the choice to set it free and go their own way. Anyhow, somebody has been blocking. Seriously. Somebody has been blocking, 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 blocking. These are all blocking, blocking their own success, 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 both, both reversed. And they've been blocking their destiny by not spinning the wheel. This is the wheel of fate. It's the wheel of fortune. This wheel has been trying to spin and they've been trying to get you to change your direction, but there has been way too much resistance. 
There's no growth. There's no fertility. Somebody's not nurturing a situation. They're supposed to finish this cycle. This cycle is supposed to end. Okay? This cycle is supposed to end. They're both reversed. But it can't end until you step over the finish line. You have to step over the finish line. There's lack of closure. Somebody's uh, just refusing. Clinging to control. Seriously. We have somebody here that is so controlling that they refuse to be successful in life because that lust, greed, uh, devil energy, even though this isn't the number of the devil, but that energy is keeping them unsuccessful because they're not making the right decisions. This is a mother that doesn't take very good care of her children. She is selfish and smothering. She probably doesn't even know how to be a mother. This Wheel of Fortune is going backwards, stuck. Nothing is changing. Nothing is changing because uh, somebody doesn't have the skills to spin the wheel. They're too scared. They're too frightened. They don't have the discipline. They don't have the willpower. This is replaced fear with faith. It's, it's reversed. They have no faith. There's too much fear. They'd rather just stay in the safety zone where all those memories are, but there's no reciprocation. It's time to leave all these past hurts behind for real, for real. Somebody's going to have some bad luck. This is bad luck and bad karma. There could even be a loss of a child. I got to be honest with you. Karma is real. Anyway, this is a choice, the Two of Swords. It's a painful, stressful choice. You get to choose. Do you want to keep being stubborn? Do you want to keep acting out of lust, greed, ego, and pride? Do you want to keep being stuck in life? Do you want to keep holding on to the past pains? <laughs> or do you want to break free from this mental prison and put effort and energy in someplace else where you will be more recognized, where you will be more re respected? The choice is yours. That's your choice. You can choose to see the truth or you can choose to keep a blindfold on. You can choose to be stuck. Today is a day of uh, the universe trying to spin the wheel. The universe is going to try to spin the wheel. Okay, That's what's going to happen. The universe is going to try. They're going to give somebody the opportunity to get in the vehicle and do the right thing, whatever it is. They're going to give somebody the opportunity, this is your choice, to, 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 to make a different choice. They're going to give somebody the opportunity to do so. Whether that person does it or not is going to be completely up to them because free will plays a part. This is an opportunity to break free and put in effort and work someplace else. Should you choose to recognize your value? The choice is yours. That's what this is. Good luck.